Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman, and I'm here on the Bright Tangerine booth helping the guys out because their factory is actually very close to where I live in England. This rig that's on here is very similar to what I normally use with my own personal FX6. It's all from Bright Tangerine, and we have several key parts. One is the base plate here. This is the left field base plate, and this fits on a standard ARRI dovetail. So it's incredibly secure. You have this really uh, high tension clamping mechanism that makes sure that there's no play in the base plate. And because it's a dovetail, you can slide the camera forwards and backwards to balance it really easily. Moving up to the top of the camera, we have the bright tangerine cheese plate on the top. And the sides of this cheese plate are actually NATO rails. So you can fit any NATO rail accessory on it. And something we've got on here is a removable, slide this off, cheese plate. So this you can mount on either side of the camera, depending on what you're doing, and it slides forwards and backwards really easily. You can remove it. There's a little quick release that allows it to come off. And then this plate here can actually be moved forwards or backwards. And on my own camera, I've normally got it mounted on this hole here so that it sits more like that uh, on the back of the camera so it doesn't get in the way or actually have it on the other side of the camera. So it's a really versatile system. If you don't use the Sony top handle, there is a third NATO rail that drops into the slot that's up here and then you can mount a NATO rail base handle onto that. So all of this is either based on ARRI uh, BP8 type base plates or NATO. The other thing, let's just put this back on here. The other thing that I have that's really cool, of course, is the viewfinder mounting system. So this supports the Sony uh, viewfinder so that it doesn't sag, it doesn't droop. There is an adjuster here for adjusting the tension. So this adjusts how easy it is to move the viewfinder and we, we can have a different, make that stiffer or looser. Then we have another NATO rail here that this slides forwards and back on so you can move the viewfinder forwards and backwards. And as well as that, this rotates so we can go up and down. We can change the height of the viewfinder or move it more forwards if that's what you want. So it's a really very versatile mounting system. You can use the loop from the FX9 on here or even the FX, FS7 loop on the viewfinder. So that shades the viewfinder. And overall, it's a really interesting rig, just spinning the camera around. One last thing, on this side, we have the vertical shooting plate mounted. So this acts as a base plate, standard tripod plate fits on there. So you can mount the camera on its side and you can shoot vertical for all your social media content and things like that. Or of course, we've got the standard plate on the bottom for our normal uh, landscape tile shooting. So a very versatile setup. It's what I use on my camera, works really well for me and I highly recommend their stuff. It's good quality. Thank you, Al. No worries. There we, there we go. Hey, it's Walter at Cinegear Expo LA at the Paramount Studios. I was passing by the Orange Tangerine booth and I Bright saw tangerine. Bright Tangerine, which has orange, the, the color is orange, but it's called Bright Tangerine. Alistair Chapman is a Sony cinematographer that knows all about lighting and everything that I would uh, aspire to be. He helped me out immensely with my camera, so uh, he's kind enough to give us a little uh, tip on if you're using more than one camera, what settings to use. So he's very kind. Yeah, so thanks, Walter. Um, one of the things, uh, there's a lot of focus about shooting with S-Log3, and everyone likes to focus on S-Log3, 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 S-Log3. And S-Log3 is great if you've got time for grading, if you've got time for the post-production and all of those things. But if you want to shoot something really quickly with a very fast turnaround, don't forget that Sony have their S-Cinetone profile. So it's picture profile 11 on the smaller cameras. And S-Cinetone gives you a very film-like look. And it's designed so that if you expose it brighter, it's a little bit flatter. And if you expose it darker, it's a little bit more contrasty, more of that film-style look. So when I'm using S-Cinetone, I like to set my zebras to 60%. And the reason for that is that's a slightly lower exposure. It's a little bit more contrasty. Being that slightly lower level, you're going to get a better highlight roll off as well. You want to use a low ISO, 125 ISO typically, depending on which camera you're using. And shoot that way, S-Cinetone. Um, 
we're 60% zebras, so the zebras are just starting to appear on most sort of skin tones. And it's really easy to get a really nice result, really fast, really quick, and it should look great. Thank you, Alison Chapman, and safe travels back to the UK. Thanks, Walter. <laughs> nice meeting you. Thank you. That was very kind of you.